Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says a circle in the xy plane has its center at coordinates negative 4, negative 6. Line K is tangent to the circle at the points negative 7, negative 7. What is the slope of line K? So this is an interesting problem because when you talk about like geometry on the SAT, you don't really get too much into the obscure concepts. Um, so we have tangent lines on a circle. Um, this one thankfully is quite simple and straightforward so i'll show you how it's done so if we draw like the coordinate plane here and we know that the circle has its center at these coordinates negative four negative six so it's like going to be somewhere i don't know like right here and we don't actually know the radius of the circle um, we probably could calculate it using these points and finding the distance and stuff but that's not really relevant for our problem and you'll see why so line K is tangent to the circle at the point negative seven, negative seven. And so negative seven, negative seven is out here somewhere. And so, I mean, the radius is gonna be like somewhere like this. So we have that, that's a really lopsided, ugly looking circle and probably not drawn to scale or accurately. But this is just a visual representation. And so line K, I'm gonna draw in black here, is tangent to the circle at this one point right here, which means the tangent line is gonna go through like this because tangent lines would hit at only one point on that circle so it'll go infinitely on on both sides and so we want to know the slope of this line so the only way to determine the slope of this line is to use the information we already know so we know two coordinate points right and these cor two coordinate points only one of them are actually on line k and so what we need to do here is actually find the slope of the perpendicular line to line k so if we draw another line through the green line, well, that's a bad diagram. So you draw it through like this, just pretend that's a straight line. You can see that the green line is going to make a perpendicular um, angle with line K. And so those are perpendicular lines and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. And therefore what we need to do is actually just find the slope of line K, uh, sorry, find the slope of the green line here, and then we can find the slope of line K. So the slope of the green line, let's draw over here, is gonna be based on these two coordinate points. So the equation is gonna be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so here, let's just look for the change in y. So the change in y, we're gonna be going from uh, negative seven, negative seven to negative four, negative six. And so the change in y, which is negative seven to negative six, that's a change of positive one. So positive one on top. Now the change in x, so we're going from negative seven to negative four. That's an increase of positive three. And so we can write positive three. And so we know the slope of this line is one third, and which makes sense because if you look at the diagram, it is positive. It's gonna be positively linear and therefore a positive slope as one third makes sense. So then what is the slope of line K? Well, we just need to take the opposite reciprocal and the opposite reciprocal here is going to be negative three. And therefore our answer choice is going to be A. And yeah, that is how you do the problem. Make sure you check out our other SAT math videos and thank you for watching.